Sorry, go ahead, Debbie. I was I was going to agree vociferously. Like I think I also think the other side of it is the business aspect, Debbie. Right, that um, we're all very uh, or internally in organisations they're very focused on privacy compliance at the moment because it's sort of the burning commercial issue. It, it's about more than that, right? This is about your ability to trust in the governance models of any organization. Are the things the business says they are doing with my information or any data for that matter, any type of data, uh, true? And can I trust and rely and verify that those are the things that are being done with that data, whether it's about a user, a human, or it's financial records or medical data. And the reason I say that is that, you know, we forget that regulations will evolve. Um, the critical business issue might not be personal data management or governance in five years time. It might be something else. A good example of that is the DSA in Europe, right? The Digital Services Act. When that comes into force, sure, there are some pr uh, privacy aspects to that, but there are also aspects of that that relate to market manipulation and the use of commercial data to essentially drive commercial advantage, right? In an antitrust environment. That starts to drive the need to govern data for totally different reasons. So now if you talk about data maps from a point of view of saying personal data, well, that's not good enough. You need to know all of the types of data that flow through an organization so that you can govern them effectively so that the business can be trusted in its business promise effectively.